guess I never seen a live, you know, but it might be damage control or it might just be show on about the killer. <laughs> What's up viewers? Welcome back to another video. Today we have Johnny Brown exposing a lot more about her past relationship with her ex-girlfriend and an interview that she did with Boya Things by Kareem. Very interesting interview. Johnny also exposed that when her ex-girlfriend was being disrespectful to Jamaicans, it was mainly about clothes chasing and what she could have gained from the publicity. She also explained that her ex-girlfriend is still in love with her and wants her back. Viewers, we're going to get into the video, but for that, I want you all to do me a favor by smashing the like button. Also, subscribe, that way you'll be fully updated whenever we drop Um. Also, okay, when she was speaking negatively about Jamaicans, before yeah. the breakup, this yeah. was no before the breakup. Yeah, let's go there. Let's so go you guys there. were still together? Yes. What was happening? <laughs> you don't, you don't have to ask her, you know, because I'm, I'm telling you, it's just clout and just walk gain attention and stuff even when a person like me level headed say yo maybe don't do that or don't say something like so as don't say something like that because people are gonna take it different type of way you know i'm try to always get the right in the correct and i know the, the accurate information but at the end of the day them have everybody else she have everybody else in her back our whole team i say fuck it just for draw they don't care how she look them just care care what how much things come in you know what i'm saying mm. Them are, going to, them are going to choose that and of course she's going to listen to them because she's more familiar to them those type of people and that you know it, time over feelings right. type of thing. because so, i would assume that you know if she's with a jamaican there's no way that you're going to be bashing jamaicans that's number never, one and then never. she came to jamaica with you right yeah all the time make her well jamaican she well jamaican as fuck and make her feel apart and, yeah. and every time them go up on the media are still some underlying you know like some shady yeah. type of thing. yeah like, yeah that yeah, was kind of you know, weird right weird as fuck that but that didn't listen to me um also i don't know if you saw it but last night i'm assuming because the the life that we did was so viral and because mm. you were saying so much in that life that's just mm. based on my assumption um last night i was being tagged by a lot of people on social media um, because she went to live on Instagram. Really? Um, said basically, she was saying that people need to leave you alone um, and that, you know, you guys were both toxic together and take things off of the media and let's not bring it on social media. That's what I got from the conversation. Um, allegedly, well, if I'm wrong, somebody can comment and um, correct me. Um, yeah, she went on live last night, late last night, and she was basically saying, People need to leave you alone and people need to stop paint this narrative of you because you guys were both toxic and let's take it off social media. Is that like a damage control she's trying to do in your estimation? I guess I never seen a live, you know, but it might be damage control or it might just be show on about the killer. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't love me now. They just go on like say them, them just go on like they don't know. See? Play man crazy. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god. Any anyway, I wouldn't know because them do them things sneaking. Right. Right. You cannot post something publicly, start a fire, and then want to out the fire. Please, sir. If she did not say anything, we would not have known that you guys were going through issues. Please, sir. What Mabina say. This is what I've been saying. If I ever post that, it would have never, would have never have to retaliate and try to defend myself and defend my name. Mm. Like, really and truly, like, what is that? And that sounds so... <laughs> well, our, face, like, our face in our work, that sounds like someone read out half of one piece of paper. Oh. <laughs> ah, yes, her face was in it. Her, her face was in it, but... Mr. Karim, very childish, right? Right. I tell you, I said she don't have anybody around there that is telling her nothing good. And the one person she have around there tell her something good, she don't want to listen to. I'm get I'm getting the fuck up out of here, please. So me can go talk to somebody else where me and them can I'll dip on the same page all the time. Mm -hmm. So viewers, you heard it from Johnny herself. You can let me know what you think about this in the comment section. But if you guys want to watch the full interview because it was around 35 to 40 minutes long, very, very interesting. I'm gonna leave a link 
to buy a things channel in the comment section and also the description box you can go over there and watch the full interview as many of you guys stated before that johnny have a lot more to say she did touch on some different topics different from the live because we did share a live earlier with buy a things basically asking some questions on the ig live but that was an unofficial interview this one is the real interview so you guys can go and check it out and hear what johnny have to say Thank you for watching as always. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe that we will be fully updated whenever we drop a video. I'm out.